Well, in the strategic vision which we established for uh, the Belgian uh, armed forces, there's one specific spearhead, which is the Special Forces Operations. And uh, in that matter, uh, we decided to uh, use on what we have, which is a very good uh, commando brigade, and we transform it to uh, special operations regiments, which will contribute to the possibilities we will have to, uh, to, to do special operations. Today we have uh, a joint venture, to, sit, to put it like that, with uh, the Dutch and the Danish, where we uh, establish a so-called SOCOM, uh, which will uh, be our spearhead for uh, future operations. Well, we are uh, looking at all types of equipment, but today we received uh, the new RRV, the Rapid Reaction Vehicle. Uh, into the near future, we will be looking into a specific uh, special operations air transport. The main target in, in uh, looking for this vehicle was, first of all, it had to be air transportable, it had to be uh, uh, armable, to, to put it like that. It has to have some kind of self-defense, but also uh, good visibility around and good uh, means of uh, self-defense, which is there with uh, some, some armament. Uh, and last but not least, uh, of course, it's uh, the autonomy. This uh, vehicle can do uh, 1,500 kilometers without uh, passing by a gas station. Well, the specific thing about special operations is, of course, that they're difficult to plan. So in that way, uh, I have to, uh, to stay uh, on, on the surface with uh, an answer to your question. But uh, the idea is, in fact, that we are creating a special operations regiment which will be deployable. Today we have indeed the creation of the Special Operations Regiment, which is composed of uh, the two Fire Commando Battalions and of one special forces, special forces Group. And then added to that are the Training Centre, respectively for Paratroopers, Parachute Training Centre and for Commando Training, the Commando Training Centre. And on the other hand we have, as of today, one what we call a CIS, Group which is added to that structure, which is uh, foreseen to enable and, and to, to foresee all uh, CS support for the regiment. Basically, we have uh, a close relationship in terms of uh, common training with other countries, uh, be it NATO or even, even outside. Um, that's, that's the first thing. Uh, secondly, we have in elaboration a project which is called the participation in the Composite SOC, Composite Special Operations Component Command, together with, uh, with the Netherlands and the Denmark. It is uh, more or less a pilot project which is uh, in the context of NATO, where we are observed as three nations to guarantee the establishment of that command element, which is needed for future uh, potential engagement in a soft context. In terms of engagement, there is no, no guarantee or no engagement from the political side yet. In this way that uh, we will be ready in a short future to be able to be engaged. And therefore we adapt our, our basic training, we adapt our way of recruiting people, we adapt our way of proceeding, uh, be it uh, the, the decision-making process which is adapted. And then we establish the, the, the network, the so important network with other special forces elements in order to be able to be interoperable. Next to that, we also have the, yeah, say the material resources issue where we additionally need some additional uh, radio equipment in order to be interoperable. Having the rapid reaction vehicle today is not a, an important element in, in having more a relationship with one another nation. Uh, the point is that since we have been waiting for years to have the replacement of the, the current ILTIS, we have a vehicle now uh, that is more protected, more mobile and who will enable to be engaged more easily. There are some, in terms of sniping, there are some specifics. Uh, interesting to know is that the training center for commandos is in fact the center of excellence for Belgium to train snipers. They have contact with lots of uh, different countries within Europe in order to, to identify what is best, what is needed, uh, to identify common practices which are needed to have, uh, let's say, the, the best training for our snipers. We have a different uh, training for the different particular uh, cells, I would say.